Hi everyone, my name is Madwa and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I recently just started a blog on MadwaSami.com. I'll leave all the information for that down below. Um, don't mind my tatted um, fist. I just had a wedding last week and it's just a little henna. It's not permanent. Anyways, I just recently started a lifestyle blog so I thought I'd also contribute a YouTube video as well. I've been a long time viewer of YouTube videos but I've always been a little bit nervous to contribute my own. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try. I'm shooting this just on my iPhone camera and I'm weirdly nervous so let's see how this goes. Um, so I live in Chicago and next week I'm going to Hawaii. Um, it's my first time going to Hawaii so I'm super excited. Um, so for the past month or so I've been kind of shopping. <laughs> Who doesn't love to shop? I've been shopping for things to take on the vacation and also things that will help me transition my wardrobe from winter into spring and summer. I live, again, I live in Chicago. We have a very cold climate. It's been like horrible. It's been cold and windy and just terrible. So I'm super excited to be on the beach and also excited for spring and summer to come. So let's get right into this haul. Um, I tend to keep very simple clothing. I work a nine to five during the week. And so a lot of the times I try to keep pieces I could wear over and over again. And then I love to go all out on shoes and accessories so that I could change into those things after work or on the weekends. So I'll just start with the shoes. So, oh, yikes. I'm in my spare bedroom. So my spare bedroom, I keep all my clothes and my fun stuff. Um, so the first pair of shoes, I guess I'll show you the box. I'm obviously a horrible YouTuber. Um, so I got these from Saks Fifth Avenue. I live actually really close to Saks off the rack and also Saks Fifth Avenue, but I bought these online and they're beautiful. They're these red suede lace-up shoes. They could lace up pretty high or pretty low depending on what you're wearing with a black heel. So black heels are really on trend right now and I'm so excited about that because I think it's the perfect way to wear a heel for a long period of time. Um, I tend to wear heels all the, like practically all the time so these are ones that won't be killing me. Um, I love this color. I think it goes really well with what I'm wearing right now and it could go well with like just like a leather jacket with a white t-shirt and some dark jeans. I think that's the first way I want to wear this. So I'm super excited about these. And I think you could really dress them up or dress them down. So, and these are really inexpensive. I don't know the exact price right now, but I think they were under $50. The Saks, um, they're the Saks Fifth Avenue, actually their house brand. So that brand is usually takes from the higher and um, trends and makes more affordable pieces. So I really like looking at that brand. The next pair of shoes I got are from Henry Bendel and I got these online as well. Um, I tend to do a lot of shopping online even though we have access to a lot of the greatest stores. And these are so cute. I wore these actually a couple of weeks ago. I snuck them in and wore them for a pedicure. Um, and there are these like neon yellow flip-flops, but they have um, an, a strap around the ankle and they have like the famous Henry Bendel stripes. And then they also have this like gold detail. I'm super excited about, I'm super excited about these. I uh, imagine they'll be really nice on the beach and also with uh, summer dresses. I think these will be really cute and they're really sturdy. They're like this nice like rubber material. The th the third pair of shoes I got are from Steve Madden, but I got these on DSW at DSW. I don't really shop there that much, but um, they sent me a coupon in the mail. I mean, they emailed me a coupon, and I kind of wanted to use it. So if anybody has been following the espadrille, espadrille trend, I've been seeing these super beautiful espadrilles and like, they come in like tan and cream and this like gray color and they're by Chloe and they're around like $600.
So I've been looking and looking at them. And I don't mind spending a little bit more on shoes, but I couldn't really justify spending that much on a shoe that was kind of a little bit more trendy and not something maybe I'd wear that often. So I found like almost the perfect dupe for them. Again, these are by Steve Madden. And they're like this grayish beige color. And they have this strap around the ankle. Um, and they have like a pretty high um, wedge. I think these would be really cute with some distressed jeans and like just like a, a basic white flowy top um, for more like of a preppy look. I think these will be really cute. And these were under $60 so I don't think these can be beat. Okay, now that we got the shoes out of the way, the shoes are my favorite part. Um, I think I'll talk about uh, some of the swim swimwear I bought. So, um, I don't know if many of you are into like modest swimwear, and it's not just like a Muslim thing. I know across the board, a lot of people like to dress a little more modest, on, modestly on the beach. Um, so I found this swimsuit from this company called Mayo. Mayo Vera and this website was a little bit expensive. I think the suits were around $100, $120. And I got two, but I'll be returning one. And I don't I don't really buy things to like swim in, but I just want things that I can lounge around on the beach and not worry about get, them getting wet and like the material weighing down or um wor worried about like ruining certain fabrics so these are kind of like just loungewear that i thought were cute and comfortable so it just comes with these like basic black pants again in that like swimwear material that won't um feel heavy uh when wet and then it comes with this top it's like in this palm tree print it's uh black white and a touch of uh blush pink and it has this really cute ruffle detail around the neck and it's long sleeve and then it has like um, I don't know what these are called but I actually love sleeves like this that I, like stop and I get a little more fitted usually it's because I like to show off my jewelry I love to wear jewelry but um, just it's a really comfortable really cozy so I got this one again I'm not really excited about these things but I think they're really practical I don't I don't think I'm supposed to talk when I'm off camera. The second outfit I got, I mean, it might be with uh, some people's taste, but it just didn't look right on me. It's like this blush pink color, and it fades into a gray and kind of like an ombre effect. And then it came with matching gray pants. Um, I'm going to see if I can return this. Um, nothing was particularly wrong with it, but for someone who doesn't wear that much color, for a whole outfit to be gray and pink. That might not seem like a lot for some people, but it was just out of my comfort zone. And also I'm on the shorter end and the outfit was way too long for me. But I'll leave information about this website down below if people are interested in getting modest swimwear. Um, so I also got a few accessories. Are you guys excited? So I've been eyeing, um, the YSL like velvet little crossbody purse and it has like the gold tassel on the front. I went and saw it and it's like around $2,000 which is kind of out of my price range. So I also found a similar version, um, a Re the Rebecca Minkoff, also the velvet crossbody bag and that one is around $200 so I went to Nordstrom to go check it out. And they only had the smaller version, not the larger version, so I wasn't able to see it in person. So I was thinking about maybe ordering it online, but while I was making my rounds around Nordstrom, which is my favorite store, I saw this bag. Look. How beautiful is this bag? I'm just so excited about this. It's like this green velvet bag with this tassel accessory on the side and I forgot to take the plastic off but it has like this velvet I mean this gold chain which I'm super excited about and the price is by the BP brand maybe you could find it online I'm not sure of the original price or why it cost this much but it was only 
$1.99. And I never see Nordstrom have like $99, but that's how much it was. I was uh, super shocked. Um, it's pretty big on the inside. It will fit a lot of things. And I know velvet, people usually wear that only in the fall. But I think it will be so beautiful in spring, especially in this color. Um, I think this will be so pretty to like kind of add some color to a plain outfit. I'm really excited about this. Another accessory I got is like a bag accessory. So I should have taken this out of his packaging. But it's this uh, pink poof. And it's from uh, Betsy Johnson. And I got it on DSW when I ordered those shoes. And it's just not, it's not just a normal puff or poof. Um, but it has like a pearl. My nails are kind of not painted. It has this pearl. And it has little glasses, heart glasses on them that say Betsy Johnson. I... I don't know if everybody is into Betsy Johnson. I know it's kind of like an older brand, but I love um, quirky accessories. So I have like a Betsy Johnson bag that's in the shape of a cat, and I have like a plastic one with flowers. So I really love her like quirky stuff, and I think it just makes like plain outfits a little more exciting. So I already know what bag I'm gonna be carrying, carrying this with. And it's not a new bag, but I have this little mini Kate Spade bag. And it's black and white. And it has like a gold, it's a kind of gold silver chain. So I think taking one of your older bags that you have, and maybe if you think it's more like a fall or a winter bag, and just adding a pop of color on it, I think this will be so beautiful for spring and summer. I'm really excited about this. So I got a few clothing items. I did get this actually. Um, it just I wore this on my birthday, and it's this blush color, and it's a wraparound kind of light trench. I'm really I really love this because you could wear it in a million different ways. And I got this on that website shein.com. I'll leave it down below. That website is kind of difficult to navigate. It has so many different things, and some of them you you're not sure about the quality. So I only buy things that have like lots of reviews. Um, and so I've been pretty successful in getting things from that website. But anyways, I got these two dresses. This is the first one. It's like long sleeve. It has a lace up detail. It's long and it's kind of like a bandage dress. And it was from Forever 21 and it's only $17. Um, it's a, it's really, it's like fitted. So it's a little fitted for my taste. But I imagine it will be super cute with like um, a flannel tied around the waist and like some sneakers or like dressed up with like um, even like a wrap around like this. I have this also in a blush color that will be super cute on top of this. So I think this will be nice and comfortable to wear all around Hawaii. I also got it in this nude color. And this is like a t-shirt style. And it doesn't have a lace up. It has no slits. It's just long, cozy. I think these are the perfect layering pieces. And this one was $19.90. So these, I mean, are really great layering pieces. And you can wear them a million and one different ways. I really love these. The next thing I got, you're either going to love or hate. So I saw this beautiful picture of um, Beyonce what picture of her is not beautiful and she was wearing this long silk kimono and it was I think I believe it was Versace I'll insert a picture here I'm just kidding I don't know how to do that um and she was wearing this long Versa Versace kimono and it was around $25,000 but I found this one which I think will be really cute on it's also from that Shein website I don't know how well you can see on camera but it's like this beautiful silk printed kimono and it has a black like detail around the whole like the whole dress um I just think this is amazing again I wear really um I usually wear black and white and gray and soft colors but I imagine like an all gray outfit or an all white outfit 
with this just wrapped around. I think this will be so pretty. I even envision it with like over this dress. I think that'll be so cute. So the the last two things I got, one of them is really small. It's this, I love accessories. It's this like beautiful chain bracelet and it has Swarovski crystals and like a pink, a blush pink and a, a baby blue. And so this is from an online website called Shop Coffee and Couture. Um, the only problem is, is everything there is custom made. So I did get it a little bit too tight, so I need to add a link. And that website is really awesome because you could customize all your bracelets. So you could pick any of the, like, um, there's a million different stones you could choose from and different styles and sizes. And you can make your own bracelet. And I think this is really cute because it kind of, like, reminds me of, like, a mermaid, mermaid colors. And I think this will be really nice. The last thing I got is like I'm so excited about so I saw this hat all over Instagram and it's all those like bloggers and fa fashionistas they have this like amazing sun hat and I was able to find it on Etsy I don't know if you can see it it says do not disturb how beautiful is this hat I'm just so excited about this I don't typically wear hats but I did buy a couple of like chiffon lighter scarves. I think this will be really cute on top of. Um, it has like a cute bow of details and this uh, bow detail. And this one was only around $50. I did see the hat that it, this hat was inspired by at Nordstrom for like $400. Um, but if you're really crafty, I know they sell a similar sun hat to this at target and you could just get a hot glue gun and maybe some glitter rope and make your own. I think this will be really cute if you're on your honeymoon and you get it to say like your last name or just married. I think this is adorable. So I'm super excited about this. So that's everything I got for my Hawaii haul. Again, um, I'm super excited to go to Hawaii and take a break from work and take a break from this cold weather. I think I got a little bit of everything and stuff that will be really useful as I transition into the warmer uh, months. Um, again, this is my first YouTube video, so and I'm shooting it just on my iPhone, so forgive me if the quality is a little off. Um, I'm probably going to include all this information also on my blog, meadowwithsammy.com. If you have any suggestions on future videos or how I can improve this channel, please leave your comments down below. Uh, thank you for watching. Like if you want, comment if you want. Um, that's all. Thank you. Bye.